make sure you have trusts and you have wheels in place, please. Um, oh my gosh, you, yes. You, you know, as soon as you buy that house, get that in place right away. Trust us. Um, because I had my aunt pass away a couple of weeks ago. I'm and sorry. They didn't. No, oh, thank you. They didn't have anything in place, and I don't know, if you know, but I constantly tell people, and I help when you come through me. We get you hooked up with a trust attorney and to set that up because when you don't think about it you need it and then you right. don't think about it so we want to make sure you're there and taken care of so that your spouse and your kids are taken care of yeah absolutely you don't want to create more havoc for them in a trying time anyway right because probate is horrible oh my gosh yeah and it takes some time sometimes sometimes it doesn't um it depends on how many heirs things like that um yeah with the, this and one your has, attorney yeah this one has four they're all kind of agree, but you know, the problem is when people pass away, the things come out that piss people off and then mm. they get upset and they don't do it. It's kind of like a divorce. You know, if it's an amicable divorce, usually someone's really getting screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I had to check see if somebody was. I know you're, you're like, who's behind me? <laughs> Can I say that word? <laughs> so just be careful out there. Um, but if you and if you need referrals, we can refer you to a couple different trust attorneys. We know a few of them. Yeah, we do. Town. We do. And and, and, and the they're ones all that, good. They really are. They really, really are. Um, just reach out and we can give you a couple names and you can go take your pick, interview yep. each one. And if I mean, I hate to say this, but even if you can't do that, at least go to legal zoom. Do something. Yeah. Have something in place because yes, you can do a handwritten will, but that will so a lot of people think is if you have a will, you're good. It helps. Right, but you just helps with to know what the person wants. Right, but you got to still go through probate. Mm -hmm. If you have a yeah, trust, the will doesn't protect you no, from probate. No, it's the trust that you need to have in place. And again, we're talking about stuff generally because we are not trust attorneys. We are just recommending that you go get that right away. You need to have a financial planner, your trust, uh, all that kind of everything in place when you get a home and you start building equity and you start building wealth. Because once you buy a home, you're going to start building wealth. This is true. And I know that, you know, in the past, every, every, uh, every client who has passed away and the family wants to sell the property, if it's in a trust, it's easy peasy, done and greasy, you know, it's, you're gone. But it's if not it's all people it, at all, anyway, no, his, and his if sayings are not from a long time ago, oh, easy maybe. peasy, greasy, <laughs> it is because I'm old. Um, Durr. but if, if you're doing a probate, it's just going to take time and time and cost money, mm -hmm. you and, know? Yeah, definitely. And then, you know, the other thing is I had some clients who just their, their person passed away and they had a, a reverse mortgage on it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what's going on with that? Nothing. You're going to make the additional equity, whatever the equity is there. And they go to sell it. You get to make that. So yeah. it's on the market. It's being sold. They're going to probably pocket about $50,000. And then the mom was able to live off of her equity for as long as she did. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. So, and because uh, somebody else asked me through um, 